Hey, what's up, nation? Today I'm gonna show you guys two must-do exercises for bigger triceps. Now, everyone's always worried about training their biceps. Don't get me wrong, biceps are great, but bi means two, because there's only two muscles here. If you guys want big, juicy, beefy arms, then you need to hit your triceps. Triceps make up two-thirds of your arm, and if you're looking for that swagger, you know, walking down the street, chicks are checking you out, you wanna pop that tricep real quick, and you bust your sleeve open on your t-shirt, triceps are gonna do the job. The bicep is just gonna push it up a little in the front. We don't care about that. Well, we do, but you know what I'm saying. Anyways, these two exercises, the reason why I picked them is because the first one's gonna target all three heads of the tricep, which, which is obviously very important. In the second exercise, you're still hitting a bit all three heads, you're still gonna be targeting your medial head, but it's gonna place more emphasis on the lateral and long heads. And the lateral and long heads this is the lateral head right here, long heads in the back. So we're gonna be hitting those extra hot. Now, for each exercise, the, the, the sets and reps is gonna be a little different, so I'll discuss those before we start the exercise. So the first one is gonna be a weighted dip. Now when you do the weighted dip, I want you guys doing four sets of 10 repetitions. However, you're gonna have a burn set involved with each set. And what that is, is you guys are gonna be performing your dips you're gonna do as much weight as you can with 10 repetitions, and then as soon as you're done, you're gonna drop the weight, and then you're gonna rep out as many reps as you can without the weight. So what that's gonna look like is this. Grab your weight, and if you don't have a weight belt, guys, you can obviously take a dumbbell and put it between your legs if you have to, but you're gonna get your weight, you're gonna rack it up on your hips just like this, and then when you perform the movement, guys, Obviously, we're doing triceps, so our goal is to keep ourselves as upright as possible and then go down as low as we can. So all the way up, chest up, all the way down, pass parallel, all the way back up, squeeze the bar as hard as you can, all the way down, all the way up for 10 repetitions. Now, like I said, this is targeting all three heads of the tricep, and the reason why we're doing this first if for the obvious reason is we're doing it weighted. We're trying to add more than just our body weight, so you're probably gonna need all the strength you can get to start with this movement. Now, I will say though, if you start doing your weighted dips, and you're doing bullshit like this, you're not doing anything. You're not even breaking parallel. If you wanna grow your triceps or any muscle for, what, for that matter, you need to be able to work through the full range of motion. So, maybe on sets one and two, you're able to get 10 repetitions without cheating, but on sets three and four, you start to get tired, lower the weight a bit. So, finally, what I wanna show you guys, the actual set, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, 10 times, then as soon as you're done, drop the weight, and then rep out as many dips as you can before your arms fail and that's gonna complete one set. Now, because we're going to exhaustion on this, I do want you guys resting 60 to 90 seconds max in between your sets, and if you're not used to doing this, you may have to lower the weight on your second set, but that's fine, because we're going for muscle fiber stimulation, we're not trying to increase our max on our dips, we're just trying to hit the triceps as hot as we can. Now, the other exercise I want you guys to do is going to be a dumbbell skull crusher. Now for this exercise, in your tricep routine, I want you to use this as your last exercise for a few different reasons. Number one, it's an awesome exercise. And number two, <laughs> because we're using lighter weight to do this, to get proper range of motion, I don't want you guys to feel like when you go to every single exercise that you have to lift as much weight as possible. You need to lift as much weight as you can with proper form. And when it comes to skull crushers, a lot of people destroy their elbows because they lift super heavy weights when they do it. And myself, if I start my, if I start my tricep workout out with um, dumbbell skull crushers or regular skull crushers, I have to use more weight because my triceps are fresh. But if you do it last, you have to use less weight because your triceps are already fried, but you're still getting the same muscle engagement. So we're kind of tricking our bodies into getting just as great a workout with lighter weight. To perform this movement, what you're going to do is grab your dumbbells, and then you're gonna sit back, slide up. I like to put my feet on the bench because there's no need 
to stabilize yourself. You're just working your triceps. And then once you're in place, you're going to keep your elbows in one spot and you're going to come down just like this as low as you can and then back up to the top of the movement. Now you'll notice that my palms are facing in. When you, when you do a barbell skull crusher, your palms are facing down. By turning our arms in like this, we're actually going to be targeting the medial and long heads, I mean, not, I'm sorry, the lateral and long heads more with the exercise. And like I said, it's very important that you keep those elbows in one place and then go all the way down and all the way up. And another benefit to the dumbbells is obviously there's more control that has to be had. The more instability you create in an exercise, the more muscles you get to flex and tense in order to stabilize throughout the movement. So you're really going to have to activate and flex those triceps hard in order to control that weight on the way down and on the way up. So what you guys are going to do here is you're going to do 10 repetitions. As soon as you're done, you're going to throw those on the ground and you're going to do a burn set again and you're going to rep out with whatever weights you choose. Again, proper form, all the way down, all the way up, and really focus on targeting and isolating those triceps. Guys, when you're doing muscle building exercises, the whole point of this is to create that mind-muscle connection to where you feel everything ripping and tearing on every single repetition. I get so pissed when I see people do skull crushers like a jackass with way too much weight and all they're doing is swinging their arms. I'll show you what I mean. You see videos like this all the time on YouTube. You know, it looks cool. Don't get me wrong. It looks cool to put 5,000 pounds on a bar and then swing it around. But you guys aren't watching this channel. Well, maybe you are. I mean, I hope I look cool. <laughs> but you guys aren't watching this channel because I teach you how to do things to look cool. I teach you how to do things in order to build muscle. And if you're throwing tons of weight on a bar and you're doing your skull crushers, same thing with the dumbbells, but you guys see this all the time, coming behind the head and then coming back up like this. You're using momentum to throw that weight up and down. I mean, guys, take a look. What do you think's isolating your triceps more from muscle breakdown and regrowth? Going like this or that controlled motion all the way down? in all the way up. I mean, even with this bar, I can feel it more in my triceps going all the way down and all the way up versus doing this and using the elasticity in my muscles to throw the weight around. So that's another reason why I wanted you guys to do the dumbbells because I don't see a lot of people in the gym do it with dumbbells, but I do see a lot of that error of throwing the weight around. So I know even if you're not doing it on purpose, once you grab those dumbbells, it's going to be a whole new world of gains for those triceps. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're looking for a full 12 week program to get you on track with your muscle growth and your strength gains, make sure you click my link down in the info section below. And I'll see you guys next time.